Now, uh, shoes industry, it, it is very similar to retail industry. And actually, uh, when you analyze shoes industry, you will understand, you understand that um, majority of companies uh, in this industry, they actually sell some clothes as well. So they could be kind of moved to retail industry. I presume value line divided them in this way because uh, the biggest part of the business in shoes, although uh, both companies, uh, like some companies, they can sell both products. They can sell shoes, they can sell clothes, they can sell something else. And so they have different type of products, but they, would, they couldn't be put in different industries and probably they divide them based on the size of their business. Now, another one, uh, it's a good thing. It's easier to understand this industry, uh, same as retail. And uh, another thing uh, which is uh, very common for this particular industry is that like practically all companies, they follow the same business cycle. And uh, if uh, economy is bad, uh, shoes industry goes down as a whole. Okay, and uh, sometimes you see that uh, all companies, they follow the same business cycle. So if you see that for whatever weather was bad or general shop, shopping patterns were bad in one company and they uh, announce their reports. So, and another company is going to announce their report in two, three weeks. So you can expect that they probably will have similar type of results. So if one company underperformed, so the next company uh, most likely underperforms as well. So that's a kind of similarity in this uh, particular business. There is a very high competition in this industry and uh, there is practically no loyalty between, uh, among customers. So very often uh, people buy shoes whenever they need them at this and whatever they can find at this particular price. Although some strong brands, people follow them and they try to buy uh, shoes from that particular brand. But in a, a lot of cases, they buy just whatever they can get at this moment. Okay, very easy to switch from one brand to another brand. Okay, if you want to analyze industry, uh, you can go to value line. And for example, if you go to report of Nike or any other in, uh, company which included in the shoes industry, so then you just scroll it a bit and you can click on industry and you get this type of report. And uh, within this report, you can read last report that uh, the whole industry was uh, suffering uh, last year. And that's why the prices of Nike, Skechers, Deck, and another, other companies, they kind of fell down quite a lot. Nike went down about uh, like 30% nearly from the top uh, level. So it gives opportunities for us to enter the same type of uh, companies and buy the same type of companies which we could buy six months ago at a much better price. Now, if you look here on the right hand side, you see the size and uh, of the companies and you can see that Nike, it's the biggest company in this industry. And then we're going to look at Skechers. So it's the second biggest. And then you can look at uh, some few companies here. Now, I always recommend is to go at the list and you can see that value line put some ranks here and say feature rank Nike is the highest rank one. And uh, Skechers, it's actually number three. And then Timeliness. And we can see that both of them, Nike and Skechers, they don't have highest rank. So actually value line tells us that they have the lowest uh, like level of growth within the next 12 months compared with other companies. And uh, the highest was Crocs, but I analyzed Crocs and they had losses uh last years uh, within last two years so i don't usually try to buy companies which are losing money so i try to buy companies which are making money but uh for whatever reason they are not right now under value okay and uh, that's why we're going to have a look at two companies nike and sketchers but again you make your own investment decisions best based on your own research so you have to just analyze them after 